Hey budget gardeners, Vita Loca here. Join me today as I show you how to go about harvesting the seeds off of a celosia plant. So let's go. I collected the seeds off of this particular celosia last year. And I think it's very pretty. It has a nice hot pink color to it. This is what the blossom looks like. Clearly, I cannot collect the seeds off of it yet. It's still blooming. But if I look carefully, like down here, there are some blossoms that have gone by and they are forming seed pods on them. And you can see it's just starting to turn brown on this one here. And here's an even better example. So we want to collect a few of these where there's not as much pink now on this particular celosia and it's more of a brown color. And after I've picked a few of these, I am going to show you what to look for when it comes to the seeds. Since the shaft is a lot bigger than the size of the seeds and the seeds are small enough that they're going to fall through the strainer, I've opted to use a strainer with a bowl underneath it, but you don't have to use that. If you just want to pick the seeds out yourself, you can do that also. I'm just going to pour it in here. And then all I'm going to do is just gently crush up the seed pods. Now I call it celosia. Some people call it celosia. There are different colors. There, this one's a hot pink color, but I've seen it in uh, red. I've seen them in pink. There's different colors of them, and there's also a different height. This one was a shorter variety, but there are some very tall varieties. And these are all dried up, which is nice because we haven't had rain for a few days. Okay. You can see the seeds are very small, pretty tiny. And I just poured the contents of what was in the bowl onto a piece of paper. Over here you can see I have a small Ziploc bag which I'm going to store the seeds in. You can store them in whatever you like. I've been doing Ziploc bags for years and it works for me. Biggest thing is to make sure that the seeds are completely dry. I labeled it with hot pink. It's a short variety and the date that I collected it. And I'm just putting a dime there for reference so you can see the size of the seed next to the size of the dime. And then also over here is an example of the seed pod. And here is a close-up view of what the seeds look like, as well as the seed pod. I'm okay with storing the seeds with a little bit of the excess shaft. That is completely fine. I just think it's a lot easier to store it that way. What I like to do is, once the seeds are dry, I like to fold the paper in half like this. And it just makes it easier to pour the seeds into my Ziploc bag. The paper acts kind of like a funnel. I've been making a lot of videos lately on how to collect the seeds from different plants, so please be sure to check those videos out. I have a lot more videos coming on both annuals as well as perennials. And what's nice is you can save a lot of money by collecting your own seeds from plants. And this winter, I'll be starting a lot of my annuals indoors under grow lights and outdoors through the winter sowing methods. So please make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on those videos. Thanks and make it a great day with gardening.